Conrad Huss was born in Chicago in 1941 and baptized on the Sunday that Pearl Harbor was bombed. His father was from the Black Forest in Germany and his mother was a tenant farm girl from Southern Illinois. According to Aunt Velda, one of her seven sisters, they often lived in the woods during the Great Depression. Paul and Marie met at the Blackstone Hotel, where he was a carpenter and she was a maid. For a few years, they lived above a hardware store next to a streetcar route. Although poor, they were industrious and helped their children understand the importance of education. Social status simply was not a topic of conversation, to the point that Conrad only learned of his parents' impoverished youth after both had passed away. Conrad's family did not complain or brag about being poor, nor did they envy the rich. They later moved to a brick home, which was part of their dream. There was stability in Conrad's upbringing and schooling. After moving from the inner city hardware store, he was raised in the outskirts of Chicago, and his friends included children of farmers. He attended one parochial school for all eight grammar grades. This school only had three rooms with 100 students and was situated in one of the farm fields, which then bordered the city. Baseball was his passion. Once, he was on three different Little League teams in the same summer. On Sundays, he and his brother Howard would attend double headers at Wrigley Field. For one dollar each, they got an admission ticket to the bleachers, streetcar fare each way, and had enough left over for a bag of peanuts. For high school, he went to Lane Tech in the inner city with over 5,000 other boys. Lane Tech stressed discipline, vocational training, and academics. From there, he attended the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign for five years, earning a bachelor's degree in English, another in mathematics, and almost a third in engineering. After undergraduate school, Conrad became an oceanographer, doing mainly bathymetry for 30 months as an ensign and later a lieutenant junior grade in the Coast Survey, he sailed the Pacific with Hawaii and Alaska as ports of call, and then the Atlantic in the Caribbean and Gulf of Mexico. As part of his Alaska billet, Conrad and his shipmates became first responders to the Good Friday earthquake of 1964. After completing this two-month assignment, they climbed mountains alongside Cook Inlet to set up survey monuments for the summer months. Resigning his commission, he taught high school science and math in West Tampa, Florida for a half year. Graduate school took Conrad to the University of Arizona, where he earned a master's and then PhD in engineering mechanics and was a teaching assistant for four years. He accepted an assistant professorship to NAU, but resigned after one year, feeling the need to put his education to practical use. This decision was followed by 15 years of design engineering jobs at Raytheon, RGA, and Mountain States Engineers. Conrad understood the necessity of continuing to learn Four times he took a new job with a major pay cut to keep on a steep learning curve, the last time being to help start M3 Engineering and Technology Corporation. In 1986, Conrad helped found M3 and has been its chairman of the board for its entire 30-year history 
where he has witnessed more than 10,000 projects. M3 now has some thousand employees, with offices in Tucson and Chandler, Arizona, Charlotte, North Carolina, Buenos Aires, and Hermosillo. A few of the M3 projects worldwide now exceed a billion dollars in value, but the company still services much smaller projects for the mining industry. At any given time, M3 also manages as many as 5,000 construction workers in the field. M3 has taken Conrad on business to over 20 countries in the world, with emphasis in the Americas, but also including Eastern Europe and Australia. For two years off and on, he was in the Andes of northwestern Argentina. And while there, he got to referee the mining camp soccer championship game. There were some professional FIFA referees amongst the spectators at the game, which ended in a shootout. The highlight of his life has been the birth of his five children, four sons, and his princess. Like his father, Conrad plans on working until health dictates otherwise, refusing retirement and social security.